Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Khadil Mustafa. Let us continue with CMA Foundation Economics Lecture. In the last lecture, we have stopped at Law of Return to Scale, right? So now we are going to new chapter that is Theory of Cost. In that, let us know what is the cost and what are the costs related in economics. In economics, generally, there are different types of cost which you are not usually used in your accounting terms. So let us see what are the first of all meaning of cost. What is the general meaning of cost? It is an expenditure incurred by the producer or firm to produce the goods and services. Actually the alternative name for cost is the expenditure, expenditure incurred by a firm or producer to produce goods and services. That's the meaning of cost. Now there are some types of cost. First one is money cost what is money cost actually money is not a cost but whenever you incur any expenditure you are actually giving money to meet that expenditure so in economics sometimes they use money as a cost that is why they have given in a type of cost money as an expenditure or cost let us see what is written there if the remuneration of factors of production what is factors of production there are four factors of production which we have already discussed rent interest wages and profit right and are paid in the form of money and this all expenditures are paid all these factors of productions are paid in the form of money and it is called as money cost like rent paid to the land and wages to the labors all these are paid in money so we can say that it is a money cost now what is real cost the real cost was introduced by alfred marshall you know who is alfred marshall his father of modern economics see a real cost is something that you are not actually incurring but it is something that uh, you are costing because of waiting your sacrifice all this uh, uh, all these are forming part of real cost it is not an actual cost but uh, when you are having a production when you are having a production there are some cost which is uh, to be incurred in the production process like you are waiting you are uh, your employees are being idle all these are known as at, at this time also you will be having some cost this cost is known as real cost indirectly involved in the production process this is not directly involved in the production process this is indirectly involved indirectly you are actually paying for this cost even if uh, you are if you are giving your labor a month one month salary he is not actually working continuously for that month there is an idle time there is a break everything is there but you are paying for that so that cost is known as real cost okay now economic cost what is economic cost economic cost total cost incurred by a firm or producer in producing a commodity are called as economic cost there are three types of economic cost when you have when you are a firm or producer you have a total cost which can be divided into three explicit cost implicit cost and normal cost let us see in detail what are these three costs explicit cost means actual cost whatever you have actually incurred while producing your production while making your production you will have some actual cost right this actual cost is known as explicit cost okay then what is implicit cost implicit cost is something that you have not actually incurred but you would have incurred for example if i am having a building and I'm using this for my production actually if I don't have any building then I have to hire it from other party right for that higher party I have to pay other party I have to pay the rent I will have some cost for that if I am paying the rent I am actually having explicit cost but if I'm not paying the rent because it's my own property then even though I am not paying for that it is my cost in the production process it is not my actual cost but an implicit cost because if I have 
let out it to other party i would have earned some income but i have sacrificed that i haven't given it for that so in that case if i am using my own property for the production process i will be having some cost that cost is known as imputed cost or implicit cost see imputed cost and uh, for example you can see that rent for the own use land use own land you are using your own land or interest on is on capital you are investing some amount in the business but you are not getting any interest so that interest you, you have to get some interest right if you are uh, investing in other, some other businesses but you are not getting it in your own business so that is a cost for you okay now explicit cost are recorded in the accounting book but implicit cost are not recorded that's it when you are uh, doing the accounting subject when you're studying the accounting subject you will have some cost uh, accounted in your books of accounts right you will be journalizing literature posting and everything will be done all this cost all this cost will be explicit cost and no implicit cost will be coming in the books of accounts of the party the next one is explicit cost are also called accounting cost that is why uh, you are uh, calling the explicit cost as an accounting cost because it is accounted okay now normal profit see actually we have uh, seen that economic cost is divided into three first one is explicit cost second one is implicit cost third one is normal cost sorry normal profit now explicit cost and implicit cost have been discussed now normal profit what is normal profit normal profit means minimum amount which is required to keep an entrepreneur in the production process is known as normal profit economic cost is equal to explicit cost plus implicit cost plus normal profit now let me ask you what is minimum amount do you have any idea what is minimum amount let me explain see if i am a become graduate and I have two options go for employment or start a business production process production often of any uh, any item okay if I go for employment I get a salary right Suppose I get a salary of 15,000. This is a riskless profit. The, uh, this is a riskless amount which I get. If I am go not going for production, I can earn 15,000 per month, 15,000 per month, and I don't have to take any production activity, right? Suppose if I go for production, if I go for production, and I have implicit cost, explicit cost okay after uh, having all this cost i have a profit of 10000 suppose will i go for production or i will have uh, to go for employment you know that you get only 10000 as a profit by doing the hard job that is production process involving in complete business processing area even in that situation also you get only 10,000 but without taking any risk of production you are getting 15,000 salary right so which is more good for you salaried hence I will not choose production if I don't get at least 15,000 as a profit from the production if I get 15,000 as a profit I can choose this production because I normally earn this even if I get this production process I go for salary also I get only uh, 15,000 here also I get 15,000 this 15,000 this 15,000 which I earn in the production process is known as my normal profit or the minimum amount I hope you understood so whatever I should have earned from other activity other alternative the same amount which i get from the production process is known as my minimum amount of profit so now you can read this 
normal profit the minimum amount which is required to keep an entrepreneur in the production process is known as normal profit economic cost is equal to explicit cost plus implicit cost plus normal profit this is the economic cost so the cost includes normal profit also in economics hope you understood now opportunity cost see i have already made a video on opportunity cost which i will be given in the description for you to watch uh, in that i have given with example what is opportunity cost and what are the things involved in opportunity cost and all this are given in detail so i am not explaining it here uh, so you can watch that video and the below link okay uh, it's a next best alternative cost which is foregone that's what you have to underline here and rest you can read from my video see you can see this graph right you can see this graph in this graph you can understand one thing if i want to produce wheat from e to c I want to increase my production of wheat from E to C. What I have to do is that I have to forego my rice from F to D. This foregone, this foregone amount is my sacrificed cost or opportunity cost. Okay, that's it. So whatever I have sacrificed, that cost is known as opportunity cost. Hope you understood application of opportunity cost before going to this point you have to uh, watch my video on this opportunity cost okay now determination of factor price opportunity cost gives you an idea on how to fix your price of factors of production if there are two product a and b and a is cost more than b a cost more than b so what product you will buy you will buy b because it is cheaper than a okay so how you determine the opportunity cost uh, opportunity cost is the next best alternative cost when you go for next best alternative cost it you are always comparing with other product there are two products available in the market in that case you will have opportunity cost so the one of the thing that you consider while making decision of opportunity cost is the price of the product so when the factor price is determined that is affecting your opportunity cost decision right so that's what it said here the factors of production need to be priced that is at least equal to what they command for alternative use determinant of econo economic rent what is economic rent economic rent is equal to factor factors actual earning minus its opportunity cost your actual earning minus opportunity cost suppose in the previous uh, example i have said that when i do the production activity suppose i earn 20000 okay if i go uh, do not go for production how much i get fifteen thousand from my salary here what is economic rent in this case economic rent is equal to factor actual earning what is your actual earning twenty thousand minus your opportunity cost what you have sacrificed that is fifteen thousand so the economic rent that you earn is five thousand in the example hope you understood now decisions regarding consumption pattern your consumption pattern is also determined by the opportunity cost because when you have a option either to choose a or b you will choose according to your interest this interest is always your opportunity you have both product you have the opportunity to buy both the product but you have chosen one so when you choose one you have actually choose a production a consumption pattern right that is your decision decision regarding consumption pattern will be determined by the opportunity cost production plan same way the consumption pattern is from consumers point of view production plan is from producers point of view both are same concept from the two a different angle okay decisions regarding national 
priorities see you have only limited resources right being a nation you have two options either go for arms production or for civilian goods if you go for arms production you will not have resources to buy to produce civilian goods so you have to take a decision regarding the national priorities how much you have to produce your uh, armed products when how much you have to produce your civilian goods all this is determined using the opportunity cost or you can apply this opportunity cost in all these cases okay so hope you understood what is meant by cost in the next chapter we will be discussing about the cost function okay thank you thanks for watching